Yo, it's that Mexican OT, and this is my route to fame. Yo, what's going on, man? It's RTF Dre. This route to fame, man. I got a special episode today, man. We got, you know, we got the one and only that Mexican OT in the building. What's going down, baby? If you've been tapping in with me since I started Opportunity Routes before it was Route to Fame, it's the, it's the guy that gave me my first opportunity. Not Hell even yeah. nobody from the city. He's Hell not even yeah. from Dallas. Hell he yeah. gave me my first opportunity. I kicked them with it for two days. Shit, man, it, it was it was it was a cool ass vibe, bro. I, like I said, I appreciate you for for even coming down there and fucking with me, you know, because like I, I you know I was still like I mean I'm definitely still on the come up, but like you know right. I, I still was kind of a nobody, yeah, you know. So I appreciate you for your time and uh, you know your support, bro. You know what I'm saying shit. You know relationships are built, and now we in there like swimwear. Yeah, now we in there, man. You know what I'm saying it was a cool vibe, man. We was there for two days. Yeah, yo, we went to the taco shop. Definitely. To the exotic pop. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? We had, hey, we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now my boy rocking our shows. You know what I'm saying? You got a show in Lubbock? Lubbock? Yeah, yeah, so I uh, I got to be uh, in Lubbock, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, and then May 6th, the day after I'll be in Colorado. Right. Greenlee, Colorado at the Moxie Theater. Nah, for sure. Yeah, so like this is actually my first show where I'm doing uh, hard print copies too of like, of uh. Tickets and shit like that. Okay. Yeah. Like, even even whenever they wrote the contract up to, like, get me booked over there, like, the percentages and all that shit, like, it, like this was like, this is an actual, like, company, like, that books and shit. Like, right. even my people were like, bro, I've never seen this type of contract. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, it was cool as fuck. It was something new. So, I'm excited about that, definitely. Nah, and sure. Colorado already so love every time. Denver. I've never performed in Greenland, but um, Colorado shows, sh- uh, Denver shows stupid love. Nah, for sure. Stupid love. Oh, yeah, man, you've been working, man, and I know we were talking earlier, bro. You have not slept. Nah, hell no, nah, I ain't got, I, I ain't got time to, bro. You know, yeah. shit, I, you know, somebody gotta do it. Somebody gotta be the best. Yeah, talk about you did the show with, with Lil Wayne. Yeah, I just did the show with Lil Wayne last night. Opened up. Shout out Fee, bro. My dog Fee Banks. He was the one that actually lined it up. That shit was crazy. Uh, that shit was crazy as fuck, you know what I'm saying? And I was the only opener, too, so, like, he came on right after me, so, like, it just felt cool, like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, I'm a bad motherfucker. Nah, yeah. yeah. And took the flight over here to, uh... And then the next day, took the flight to D-Town. I'm over here fucking with my doggy, having fun, too. I like Dallas, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of hard-ass artists over here. Fucking uh, Ronnie, uh, Trap Boy Freddy. Uh, free that, free that dog, yeah, he is a man. Uh, for sure, know what I'm we've been bumping that, 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 that bumping. Uh, yeah, free uh, my nigga, yeah, he is. First off, free my nigga, yeah, he is a. What do you say? Uh, yeah. Drink so dark, looking like the window on a presidential. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Ronnie, man, yeah. he hard. We've been bumping that Bumpy Johnson too, that slinging on. That's crazy, cause yeah. I didn't even know. I feel, I knew he was from Texas, without a doubt. Right, but I, you know, Ennis. Ennis, yeah, I, that's crazy. I didn't expect that. Yeah. I was thinking like. uh I was thinking Dallas. I was I was really thinking like you know Age Time or something. Mm. That's cool as fuck though. They got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they got them one, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they got one for yeah, sure. Nah, yeah, Cause for I remember sure. when I seen that interview. What what uh, it was like that cash or it was something. It was something. Oh, uh, rap economics. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Cause I've seen I've seen you know a lot of people on there, so it was cool as fuck that it was on rap, uh, rap yeah. economics. Shout out to them yeah. for sure. That's where it took off. So 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 kind of tell the people what you down here in Dallas for, man. So my doggy Ralph Barbosa. I don't know if y'all know Ralph Barbosa. If y'all don't, y'all need to definitely check in with him. He's funny as fuck. Upcoming comedian, uh, doing a lot of fucking crazy shit, a lot of big things. Uh, and he's just cool as fuck in general. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm dropping a project hopefully next month, and he's gonna be narrating it. Yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like the 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 pro- the name of the project is Lone Star Luchador. Mm. And then he'll probably. Be I see like, you got that tatted on, on yeah, your yeah, hand yeah, too. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So he'll probably be like a, uh, like a fucking a commentator. You know what I'm saying? I'll be a wrestler. And he'll be like, you know, oh, it's that Mexican OT, and it yeah. raw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We we'll just make it fun, have fun with right, it, right. Know, but narrate the project. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, hopefully it goes cool. And I'm excited to do it, and it's gonna be my first time ever meeting him in person too. So. Oh, that's fucking dope. Yeah. So you were a fan of him before any of this though. Yeah, definitely, bro. Like I remember seeing a, a skit of him on TikTok, and he was it was that it was a skit where he was like, uh, you know, my boys are drug dealers, and you know it's crazy because they would be like, man, who would have thought you know me in prison? <laughs> and he's like, fucking dude, everybody. We yeah. told, that's why we told you to stop selling drugs. You know right, what I'm right, right. It's funny the way he put it, but you know, it, yeah, it's. Uh, yeah. I think that was the first time I ever seen him. 
And I, I didn't pay any mind to it, didn't pay any attention to it. I was like, oh, yeah, he's Mexican, he's funny, cool. Um, then I started hearing more about him, and he just started, you know, getting bigger and bigger. Uh, he's from Texas. And I was like, he's a Texas Mexican? Yeah. So, like, it <laughs> fucked me up after that. And then I just started hearing more about him, and then I finally on Instagram. I think I followed him or he followed me. Either way, one of us punched in with each other, and it's been love since then. So, like, that's why I'm super excited to, to finally get it in with him. Show. And yeah. then what's what's the name of the album again? Lone Star Luchador. Lone Star. So talk about that. I know you got some crazy features, bro. Bro, I got I got Maxo on the uh, fucking the Big Yevo, Big X, fucking uh, I got Jody on the uh, Trap Boy. Trap. No, nah, actually, I'm, I'll probably have that for something else. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because gotcha. I mean, I just got songs out the ass. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh, I can't think of anything. I know I got some crazier features on there for sure, but off the head, no, nah, I can't think right now. Yeah. And there'd probably be like 14 projects on there mm -hmm. or 14 songs on there. So yeah, I'm you excited. showed me a couple of them country ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Man, that Cowboy Killer is stupid. Shout out D Green. He did the visuals on that one too. And Oliver. Oliver, man, uh, he's from Italy. You know that song that I feel like on Gucci Man in 2006? 2006. Yeah, 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 so Oliver, he did that whole project. Okay. Yeah, bad motherfucker, bro. And, uh, you know, I had a pleasure of meeting him. Uh, my boy Sean at Cinematic punched me in with him. And, uh, man, we just been fucking it up since then, you know. So it's, it's super cool fucking with him, too. And then, like, you know, fucking with all these boss-ass motherfuckers that I'm fucking with, it just gives me the confidence to, you know, step out and do, you know, shit that I normally wouldn't do. And it's going to fuck it, it sells, you know. Right, right. So it's cool as fuck, definitely. So, man, tell me a little bit about, like, how does it feel whenever people speak about who's running the game as far as, like, just Hispanic artists, right? I feel like you run in the game in general. Yeah, I was just in that say, market. I, I think it's fucking dumb. Yeah. Like, I mean, I understand what they're doing, but, like, I hate being in that box because, like, I I mean, I feel, I feel like I don't sound like a Mexican rapper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's, it's kind of pointless to even put me in that box. Or I might be tripping. I don't know. I also feel like I'm shitting on every race. Like, I'm shitting on blacks, Mexicans, whites. I mean, don't get it twisted. There's blacks, Mexicans, and, and whites that are hard as fuck. But, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm shitting on more than just the Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I'm, I'm eating a lot of rappers up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm grateful that I can do that. I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? I love music, bro. Like, I'm grateful for it. Like I was telling you, you know, I can't cook, nigga. I'm not getting up at five in the morning to go swing no hammer. Right. I, I suck at following the rules. I I can't pay attention. I have a horrible temper. Like, so like the reality world was it's just not meant for me. So like I'm glad that I can get stuck in my bubble and and make a living off of it. No, nah, for sure. And it, it's kind of like what you said, bro. Like even when we did that day in the life together, like you showed me videos of you as a kid rapping. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you even told me like your mom used to iron out the money and you was there performing. So like this I'm shit telling was telling you, bro. And then, and then my and then my dad, you know what I'm saying? Like fucking, you know, like he would be he'd be fucked up and him and his friends, you know what I'm saying? Like he would he would want to see me rap battle all these grown folks, you know, because he knew I'd kill him. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm his son, you know what I'm saying? He's showing me off, you know. He's holding pride in this shit, so. You know, so since I was little, it's just been drilled in my head. Music, music, music. I mean, I had a stepmama, you know what I'm saying? And, and she tried to stay on my ass, you know, school, you know, make sure you do this and that, which is good. I'm glad I had it. You know, I'm grateful. But, yeah, for the most part, I knew college wasn't for me. She wanted me to go to the military. I was like, bitch, <laughs> I don't even follow your rules. Right. Makes <laughs> you think I'm going to follow somebody else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Nah, but I, I love my stepmom to death, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm grateful for a doggy, like, you know, because, like, you know, living with my dad, it, he my dad, but, it, you know what I'm saying, we was, like, homeboys at the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, even still to this day, like, you know, we have the father-son relationship, and I respect him as my father. I would never test him, you know, he's my master. But um, it was it was more lenient, you know, because he was busy doing what, what he was, he was still, you know, being young and having fun. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then my mama, she's like, fuck no, you're finna fucking do good, you know? Because, like, she just don't, she want me to be better. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm grateful for it. Like I said, I still was fucking up, definitely. But I, I was never a bad kid, you know? I always had manners, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Any trouble that I got in, it was because, you know, of me and just just being led by dumbass motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, I ha <clears throat> always had a chip on my shoulder, always just had a fucking horrible-ass uh, temper. So my temper is probably what, like, got me in trouble the most. Yeah. But definitely, you know, 
for sure. Since a young and it, it was just drilled into me, you know. For sure. And not only that, man, I feel like you very confident in your work. Yeah, I mean, fuck, you know. Even if I, if even I don't from the jump, it, if like, I don't believe in it, why should you? Yeah. You know. Yeah. Even so. from the jump, like I like the fact that, you know, shout out to Peso, right? You guys got a good relationship. Yeah. But 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 starting off, like you know. You was kind of like that rookie coming up, like, nah, man, I'm better than you type shit. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I fuck, you know, I, I feel like, uh, I mean, really what it was is at the time, like, my boys were in my ear, and they boosted me up, you know what I'm saying? So, like, having them boost me up, it's like, man, I am better. I'm better than everybody. Right, yeah. So, I mean, that's that's really how I was feeling in the moment, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I want to go over there and fucking kill that nigga. Like, I ain't got no beef with him. It's like, just on some rapper shit, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, even to this day, like, that's my doggy. You know, shout out Peso. Fucking, we was at South by fucking it up, you know what I'm saying? Got some shit in. Uh, he's a cool dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, besides the music shit, he just, he's a stand-up cat. And and I respect how he responded to, you know what I'm saying? He could have easily fucking swung down, and he could have easily did anything. He handled it in a gangsta-ass way, you know what I'm saying? He kind of, like... Like, I was swinging at him, and he was like, that's cute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we're both hard at the end of the day. At the end of the day, the fans fucking want us together, so we got to do what the fuck they want, you know? And uh, yeah, us. that was hard, man. That link up was yeah, what yeah. everybody wanted type shit. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It was, it, was, it was anticipated as fuck, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad we finally got it in, and you know what I'm saying? It, I mean, there was, no, there, was, there was nothing to, like, squash but we got we're all on the same page now. Exactly. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I like so, that. No, nah, I like that. And then, you know, let me ask the question that people want to know, you know what I'm saying? Would up? they be a D baby in that Mexican OT collab ever? Man, bro, I'm a fan of D baby, bro. Like I like his music and shit like that, you know? I mean, I, I catch myself driving and his song will come on and I catch myself jamming it, you know what I'm saying? So like but I I feel like he just he's stuck in his his little zone right now, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. So, like, if we do, it's not going to be anytime soon. Right, right, right. But, I mean, you no, know time what will tell. Time yeah, will tell. Time, yeah, time yeah, will tell. Yeah. There you go. But, I mean, like I said, I'm a fan of him. I fuck with him, you know shout what I'm saying? Shout out to that junkie mode, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to junkie mode. Shout out to Cena, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, Cena, Cena you know what I'm saying? He, he top dog. He's the one that makes, you know, shit happen. And uh, he's a blessing. So, it's cool as fuck for them. D Flowers too, the whole the whole Black Diamond Entertainment, Young Al, uh, D Flowers, he got a dude named YB Puerto Rico or YB Rico or some shit, but I don't I don't really know cuz like that. But D Flowers like bro, that uh, him and Maxo that uh, I might have to smack a bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah, like bro, I was I was a fan of D Flowers and didn't even know who he was at the time. You know, I was a kid just jamming shit, and then I got older and I saw him and started hearing the voice, and I get on the phone with him and we chop it up. I'm like man. This, this nigga sound familiar, and then it all click. Uh, oh, yeah. But I think it's real dope that you're like, you give people their flowers, bro. Yeah, like, you flying. name drop in every interview. Like, you, you, like, you know what I mean? And I even mean, then, you, like, you, you tapped into the Dallas market, too. Like, yeah. when, when I first met you, you, was, you knew about Mo3. Yeah. You knew about Trap Boy. Like, you, you knew about, you know? Yeah. Like, hey, you I really mean, tapped into music. Yeah, fuck yeah. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh... You know, Louisiana had their face, Chicago, uh, mm -hmm. fucking Atlanta. Atlanta. I feel Memphis like Memphis is having theirs right now. Memphis is killing shit, yeah. bro. But I feel like Texas, like, bro, I, like, even from Swagger, like, bro, the Texas rappers are clean, bro. Like, I remember, I remember, you know what I'm saying, before I jumped in the rap game, pace, the whole TSF, fucking the whole hood fame, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember looking at them, like, bro, these, these motherfuckers are hard. Like, it don't, it don't get better than that. I remember thinking that. Like, I remember listening to, to Yeah Yo music, like that fucking Jedediah, uh, the Jesus Shuttleworth and all that. I was like, bro, it just... 40, it, go, yeah. boom. Yeah, yeah, bro, what's that one? He said, um, get off of me. Young dog, uh, young dog put, put them paws on me. Get off of me. Yeah. That Jedediah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's probably my favorite track by him, definitely, bro. Free eight years of mine. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I feel like Texas rappers, you know, it... We, we've just always had a cool ass fucking stilo, so I think that's why I was always attracted to it, you know. All right, all right. Definitely. So let me ask you this, Ot. Like, even speaking about that, like the hood fame, the TSF, would you ever start something like that? Or are you not looking looking into that right now? Yeah, I be I be so worried about me, bro. Right. And like, and I and I like I said, I have zero patience, so I'd suck at being a teacher and trying to. 
-hmm. teach them you know what i'm saying like I, I feel like i have it's i feel like it's already three handfuls with trying to lead myself right, right, right. you know what i'm saying so but i mean shit if you can if if y'all can do it do it you know what i'm saying like who you know the people running tsf and and what who all those groups man shit they're killing it you know what oh, i'm saying sure. so for sure everybody got their own cup of lean but nah i'd be I be I'll focus on me, and then my boys that I keep around, like I don't keep around no extra motherfuckers, and so like so all my boys that I just genuinely fuck with, they really don't even be rapping. Besides Drody, right. you know what I'm saying? I mean they'll get I'm sure they'll get fucked up and like we'll rap because we're fucked up, but like you know they're gonna have their own lanes and shit like that, so I don't really have to worry about hey we're gonna be KDC or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. Yeah. So let's backtrack a little bit, bro. Like <clears throat> you know you went viral on TikTok. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Then the traction started coming in. You started dropping. And bro, you were dropping week after week, right? Yes, bro. That's like that's really that's really how I like it. Like I like dropping every other week, you know what I'm saying? But fucking with this label, I'm kind of they're not holding me back, but <clears throat> it just takes a little bit more time cuz now I have to go through them, right. you know. And I'm not bitching about it at all. Like I'm grateful. I'm glad that I signed this shit. It was definitely a smart move for me. But, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. And how, how was that, like, going through all, you know, different label meetings and stuff like that? Was, how hard was that decision? It was scary. I don't think it was hard. It actually wasn't hard because, like, Interscope just came correct as fuck. Right. Yeah. But. Um, what what do you feel like Interscope did right that the others didn't? Uh, Not even what they did right. Like, what caught you? Cause I look at it like a college I mean, athlete, I mean, fuck, you know what I mean? They're fucking, they're in the scope, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they got fucking some, they got some heavy pepper. hitters, yeah. yeah. Red Hot Chili, even more than rap, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Eminem, fucking Snoop, I don't know about Snoop, uh, D, the baby, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people over there, so it's cool as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Not only that, uh, it, when I met them, you know what I'm saying, I could tell when they were talking to me, it didn't, I mean, shit, if... You know, I'm sure at the end of the day, I'm probably just a number to them, but they did good with making me feel good. Right, right. So I was like, yeah, I give a fuck about that. Even if they don't give a fuck, they did a good job at pretending to give a fuck. So it's like, all right, you got to give a fuck at least a little bit to pretend to make me want to feel good. Right, right, You know right. what I'm saying? So, you know, they just, I don't know, they just came correct. Not only that, my buddy Greg was punched in with Fee and... And Fee, you know, he he made that move. I'm telling you, bro, shout out to Fee. He's the same person that got me lined up with that Lil Wayne opening. So, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Fee Banks, he's the one that really be making shit happen, too. Uh, Fee, his lineup is like Young Boy, Kevin Gates, Quando Rondo, No Cap, that Mexican OT. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's badass. Even fucking with Johnny over that cinematic, Johnny got some heavy hitters. Fucking Nipsey Hussle, Joey Badass, Big Yevo, uh, Young and Ace. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So it's cool as fuck to even be associated with them, too. You know, like I said, just fucking with heavy hitters, it, it gives me more confidence to ugh, go out there and <clears throat> dominate. Yeah, fuck shit up. Yeah, right. Right. For sure. So for sure. It's a blessing, man. It's cool as fuck. It's definitely been a long ass road, but enjoyable. So how's life different now? This is full time mm. now, bro. Yeah. I feel like... uh. I don't want to say it feels more of a job because I'm definitely still enjoying it. I, but I'm just, I, I think life is the same. I'm just in better situations now. You know what I'm saying? It's just pretty much the same, though. I, I ain't ever, I mean, I, I'm not going to change up. The only thing that's different is I just got more money, a bigger fan base. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm learning shit. If anything, I'm becoming more humble, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I be seeing rappers and, you know, like sometimes I see older rappers and they just don't make it. And I'm like, fuck, like I could be that, you know, I feel like what's what's really been setting me down and like humbling me is like I just I fully understand that, man, I could have fucking none of this. You know what I'm saying? And. Uh, I think I think that's the only thing that's different is like just my mindset. Yeah, I noticed that about your T. You're not really that flashy, bro. Like you're more like you really in tune with the music yeah definitely i mean fuck you know what i'm saying i don't need to be flashy my music speak for itself ah, for sure. yeah. yeah and not only that you know the, the simplicity sells for me you know i feel like just my grill itself is an iconic look with my cowboy hat my boots and shit because you got to understand it bro there's people that are fucking that aren't even rapping they got bust down necklaces bust down watches you know what i'm saying looking like rappers yeah and they're not fucking rappers they're 
probably fucking do banking work. You know what uh, I'm saying? For sure, yeah. So it's it's kind of like watered down a little bit. Over, at least to me personally, you know, like there's other people that still got jewelry and it look crazy as fuck, but that's them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think the non-flashy look is a better thing for me. I'm glad you noticed that though, cause like I hold pride in that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Personality takes over, man. You don't need none of that shit. Right. Exactly. And I'm also a good person. I'm enjoyable. So like, you know, it also makes up for it. And then, bro, when when people, uh, from what I notice, when people first tap into your music, bro, like when you really pay attention to what you're saying and some of the lines, like mm-hmm. you say some, well, some people would think some out of pocket shit, yeah, yeah. And some people, that's how they become <laughs> fans about you, bro. So, yeah. like, where where does all that come from, fam? Man, because that is you. When people know who you are, that's you type shit. Man, just hearing Eminem, hearing Big L, even my dad just talk and not giving a fuck, just being so ruthless. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I just. It was for me. I liked it. You know what I'm saying? I liked how grimy it was. I liked the, I don't know, bro. I, I, I first of all, I have a fucking, <laughs> a dark ass sense of humor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a dark ass sense of humor. So, uh, you know, I think that all leads into it, you know. Just just being funny, you know what I'm saying? Who gives a fuck? You know, like, I don't want to be canceled. I would never, ever want to offend somebody. Like, that's the last thing I want to do. But, you know. Have some, have, you know, have some fun, bitch. Nah, for sure. Yeah. And that one video, I don't know if it's Ghetto Boys. It's the one with uh, is it Shawnee, your, your boy? Man, he's in a lot of them. Yeah, he's a, it's it's one of them where it's like they 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 say that yo I'm gonna cut off his nuts type. Oh shit. yeah, I grab yo, so his who, dick and yeah, twist it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like who's who's behind all that? Like yeah, that was me. That's you. Yeah, yeah. yeah but fucking you know, Shawnee killed it though. You know, Shawnee's a he's a goofball himself. That right. motherfucker right there, he's funny, but. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I really ain't chopped it up with them in a while. I kind of, like, it, it's really like CJ, Jody, and Nate. And if I ain't with them, I'm with C4 at the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, but uh, I, that's another thing. Like, I feel like I, I want to say people hang themselves. But maybe I'm just overlooking it and, like, I'm already fucked up. So, like, the smallest shit ruin somebody to me right right you know i don't know i don't know how to explain it but uh there's a lot of people i just ain't been hanging out with you know what i'm saying like I, I keep it simple like i keep the same people in my life and uh you know i i learned them and i fuck with it you know what i'm saying i still trip to this day that's another reason why i don't keep my circle big because like man I, I be in my head you know what i'm saying like I, i've been talking shit to my whole fucking life by family uh, people at school, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember I would try to go to school to run away from it, and I'm like, fuck, I get it here, too, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's another thing that just pushed me to, like, be a, not a hoodlum, but just be a fuck-up. Like, I was just always mad having them drugs, you know what I'm saying? I'd be drugged up and mad, and I'm not, I wasn't, like, on fucking cocaine and shit, but, like, smoking weed, you know? I, I do love cocaine. But, <laughs> not for sure, yeah. yeah. But not anymore, I, you know what I'm saying? My nose is fucked up. I ain't gonna lie, if my nose wasn't fucked up, I'd be fucking scammed out. <laughs> yeah, I'd be twacked out. Yeah. Probably. But, you know what I'm saying? It's a... Uh, it's been cool, bro. It's been a long-ass road, you know, but I'm glad that I have my circle, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that I got the people that I got now because they do good with boosting me up. They do good with being the people that I need them to be at that exact moment, you know what I'm saying? So I'm grateful. It's cool. So I want to show you something, bro. Yeah, come on. I want to show you something. And this is uh, me speaking from a from a from a fan perspective, perspective, right? Badass. Will we get some more shit like this? Damn. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy? When I made this whole project, I didn't even like. I, I was struggling, bro. Like I wanted to give up. I remember there'd be nights I go to bed crying, like, why the fuck am I doing this? Like I don't, I don't see any progress or nothing. And um, this song right here, slow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you it slow that way you have it. But bro, this motherfucker slow. It's probably like one of my favorite songs I've ever done. I love this. Ain't gonna lie, bro. This is my favorite song from. That's crazy as fuck that you pulled that song up. I, I love that song, bro. Like I remember, uh, I jammed that hoe, and uh, that, there's some songs that I've jammed and like I just teared up, and that was one of them. I, uh, I really, really fuck with that song bro especially when it's slow i'm a big bobby fan too bobby Schmurder. that's what i'm talking about yeah you know swinging sticks free free og bobby so um it's cool as fuck i hope bobby Schmurder hear that song one day 
Yeah, yeah for real. Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, that's gonna be crazy though. Car show with us three. I'm excited about that. I met Roddy too, Roddy Rebel, but I'm sure he's not gonna fucking remember me or nothing like that. But it was super quick in and out. But I met him in New York at a uh, at Johnny's at Johnny's uh, Smoker Club at the okay. Smoker Club. So you know what I'm saying? It was cool. I got to show off like two, three songs of his. Uh, shout out to him for even you know giving a fuck to even pay attention to me. So that was cool as fuck. I was a kid jamming him. You know, I was a fan. So. Mm -hmm. It's, it's cool as fuck, you know, not only being in the same category as them now, but like almost shitting on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's fucking, it's fucking cool. <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, that's a fan, man. I just, I, I really do hope we hear some shit like this on the album. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Definitely. I, I definitely have some more vibes coming. I really, what I want to do, I want to re, I want to remaster that whole project. Okay. So like later in, like maybe about like three years later when I'm independent again, because, you know, I'm, I'm fucking with the label, but... When I when I get back Dolo, I definitely want to remaster that project. Because, yeah. like, I, I recorded that project at my buddy Scale's house. Okay. And, uh, you know, we're doing it right there in his room. You know what I'm saying? I'm still coming up, still trying to figure out how I want to sound with this music. And uh, I still, like, I, I feel like I was still so clueless at that time. And uh, I go back and listen to it sometimes. I'm like, fuck, man, this shit was hard. Yeah. You know I think it was ahead of his time, bro. Yeah, on the, on, bro, yeah. on the cool, yeah. right? I feel like I feel like 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 vibes like that. I definitely need to bring back because lately I've just been drilling it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like I've been catching myself like even the new songs I've been doing. Like I just been letting the beat breathe a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I feel like it's having those vibes again. So I'm excited. Yeah. Crazy as fuck you brought that up. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. And that's exciting, man. That's exciting. Hell yeah. yeah. Like I said, uh, when I first tapped into you, I was, I was, I kind of like dove into all the projects you had at the moment. Yeah. So like I said, that was that one song. To this day, that's that one song that just. Thank you, bro. I, like, I ain't going to lie. That whole project slowed. I'm going to have to send you the whole thing slowed because like all those songs right there slowed. That bitch is dumb. It misunderstood too. Misunderstood. Uh. Uh, beatbox the block, Motorola, and get ugly, or probably like my favorite ones on there, but slowed. Right, right, right. Yeah, definitely. Those motherfuckers were dumb. That 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 beatbox the block. I had like the whole B County singing it before it even dropped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just riding with my boys and shit, jamming it. It's crazy as fuck, man. That was some good memories. Man, that's that'll be a up. dope ass video. Yeah, hell yeah. Like I said, especially once we remastered. It. I've been wanting to do. I've been wanting to shoot a video to it. And this is this is what gave me the idea of remastering it because like I tried to shoot a video to it, but it just it don't sound like what I'm bringing to the table now. So I don't want to backstep, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, fuck it. Later in life, I'll probably just redo the project and then get a video to it because that bitch is hard. Nah, it is. You know what kind of beat that is? Nah, I don't. That was a, a trippy red type beat. Okay. Yeah. And that crap, trippy red and somebody type beat, maybe juice. That's what tri trippy red was like, just popping. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, you know, when I was in college, like, everybody was on Trippy Red. They're like, yeah. yo, you heard of this new, like. What was that one song he had? Uh, the music video was like, he's in the dark, and he's he's wearing all black, and he's killing these motherfuckers. Uh, I, it was like a rock star feel, but I think that was like, that was a fire-ass song. Mainstream-wise, Trippy Red, because I remember jamming Trippy Red when he had, like, fucking. SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah bro, SoundCloud. like 4,000 yeah. plays on SoundCloud, maybe yeah. 40,000, you know what I'm saying? But, like, like that, can you rap like me? No, you can't rap like me, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that when he had the Blue Dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so, so wait, so, like, bro, you, you don't have no fear of getting outside the box, do you? No. You get you on that country shit, Everything. rap shit, yeah. Everything. I mean, bro, like, that's what I be trying to tell people, like. The label don't say shit about that? Like, they just let you be you? No, nah, I have full control of my creativity. I mean, fuck, bro. It's unfucking deniable. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're not, <laughs> you're not gonna sit here and jam and be like, oh yeah, no, we can't do that. Yeah, it's country. No, it shit still fucking jams. You know what I'm saying? Like, I uh, it, it's kind of like what was that song that uh, what's that song? What's that fucking song by Kingston? Uh, beautiful. Uh, fuck. Be uh. Sean Kingston? Yeah. Uh, suicidal, suicidal. Bro, when, I think Johnny, my boy Johnny was telling me they made, you know what I'm saying, he was the one that broke that shit. He was saying before before he was even singing, they picked him up because he was rapping. Right, right. And then one day, he, they were in a, I think they were in a studio session, and he came in there, interrupted that studio session, and was like, bro, y'all need to stop what y'all doing and jam this. And they went in there, and he was singing that. Damn. Oh, no. I feel like it was that beautiful girl. That's what it was. Beautiful girl. I, yeah. How does it go? Uh, oh, fuck. Sean Kingston. I think it was Sean Kingston, right? What's this song? 
It wasn't suicidal. Or maybe nah, it wasn't suicidal. But I love no, nah, that's Bruno Mars. I love the world. <laughs> Too beautiful, beautiful yeah. yeah, that one right there. That's why it will never, never work. Yeah. Oh yeah, suicidal. That yeah, is the same one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumbass, my fault. All right, yeah. Nah, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. So like, it it can always it can always change. You know what I'm saying. They picked him up because he was doing lyrical rap, and then out of nowhere they were like, "What the fuck, you sing?" Yeah. You know what I'm saying. I Brody think took off after that. I think that's kind of how it was with me, you know, because like I showed Johnny Brienne, and then I showed him Cowboy Killer, showed him some other shit. While and he was like, "Who, who are you?" I thought we picked up Mexican OT. I'm like, hey, "It is me." You know, I just I'm unlocking new characters every day. Yeah, every you know day. Every yeah, day. every day. So it's fun, bro. Like I said, at this point, I'm just having fun with it, and that's why I'm I'm having these new genre of feels. You know what I'm saying? These new vibes and shit. So. I'm excited about it. I'm glad I'm enjoying it. I'm glad I'm loving it. It's a blessing, and uh, shit, I'm here to keep rocking on. No, for sure, man. Let the people know what they what, what they what you got coming up, man. album, all that. Yeah, so hopefully I'm dropping a project in June. Like I said, I'm here in Dallas today, fucking with Ralph Barbosa. He's gonna be narrating it with me, getting some funny scripts in there. Um, May 5th, the fucking Cinco de Mayo, you know, I'm going to be in Lubbock, Colorado on the 6th, May 13th, the car show, uh, July 15th, Mercedes, I'm going to be out there in the Valley, shout out to the 956, RGV, all that, man, you know, it's going down, baby, um, I got a tour that we're going to line up, uh, my boy Branson's the one that's making this shit shake with me, shout out to Odessa and all them boys up there. Uh, and then Slapwoods, my boy Nada uh, at Slapwoods, he's the one that's fucking. Uh, he's sponsoring my 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 yeah. whole uh, my whole tour. So. Shout out to Slapwoods, yeah, man. Oh, T put Slapwoods, me on. Man. Yeah, he put me on. I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I didn't fucking fly here today, I'd have I'd have a bag of some old ass Chinese food and some Slapwoods. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> So for all sure. that Chinese food and some Slapwoods, but I, I you know I can't ride, I can't fly with it. So nah, for sure. I was like, fuck it. It ain't gonna be that long though. I'll be back over there. Oh yeah, my boy gonna be back, man. He came tapped in with me. But I wanna but you punched me in with uh Prophecy. Prophecy. Yeah. I, was, I was thinking Perseus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, prophecy. So like yeah. I'm super excited to come back and fuck that up. No, for sure. I want I wanna get some visuals in with him, definitely. No, for sure. Definitely. Man. He's hard as fuck. I, I, I am definitely a huge fan of like that the edits. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, shout out to 604. He, you know what I'm saying? I like that shit. Even D Green, but like, bro, D Green's camera work, you know what I'm saying, is stupid, but man, that it's shit. It's time that, for some cinem cinematic stuff, man. Man, that cinematic, bro. That that shit that he had was fucking dumb, bro. That shit was crazy. Uh, yeah, it looked sure. like a movie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, he killed that hoe. But I mean, fuck, fucking with Mo Three, you kind of got to, you know. Yeah, you got to, you got to come correct. Yeah, how how did you feel when Blueface remixed it? That it don't hit the same, man. Yeah, yeah, it don't hit the same. Yeah, I definitely agree. But we can all say that it's safe to say he crashed that hoe. Yeah, yeah, he crashed that hoe. But I mean, fuck, I mean it's Mo Three, you know what I'm saying? Like that nigga was an animal. You know that's that's why I hate the I hate all that street shit, man. Cause like. It just comes with so much unnecessary shit, like that. Like people be beefing, which I completely understand, bro. Like I'm not trying to justify nothing. I completely understand on on why everything happened the way it happened, but it's too much money in the world. There's too much happiness, too much greatness, especially when you're as fucking hard as as these artists are. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's it's fucking stupid to let bullshit like that get in the way, man. Like I said, I completely understand it, dog. Like. Shit, I've lived that lifestyle. I've been around it. Like, I understand what comes with it. But there's so much more righteous shit out there. There's greatness out there, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole world, you know, and some people are just stuck on that ignorant ass shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. But, yeah, definitely. No, nah, for sure, man. But that's that, man. That's that Mexican OT, man. Hey, man, like I said, bro, I appreciate you for having me again, bro. I'm excited for this interview to, uh, the interview to get out. I'm, re I'm ready to watch it already. I'm ready to see what the fans are talking about. Let us know in the comments who the fuck else y'all want my man to bring to the table, bro. All that good shit. We need shit, Drody man. in here, man. I've been trying to get him in here. We need That's Drody. easy. That's easy. Yeah. I already know he's going to do it. Like I said, we're planning the trip to come back so we can get some more Say work less. in. Say less. So that's easy. That's that. Well, shit, I got to get him get him to this Rad Barbosa uh you know, situation. So, shit, yep, that's yep, that, yep. man. We're going to tap in with y'all soon. Peace.